G'day, let's play some more Millennium Dawn as the Nigerians. So we are going to start a few more attacks along here. Pretty sure we've broken the Russians, so now it's just a matter of getting the men where we need them. Such as, spring these three guys out. Getting to Dushanbe, Bishkek, and up to Astana. Hopefully, they can do it quickly. They have uh, decent supply there, so it should be okay. We've gotten around most of them. They shouldn't have, hopefully, any guys defending the capitals. As we'll soon find out. Right, this guy comes across. One guy to Dushanbe. One guy was going this way. All right, tell me you are going to capitulate. Tajikistan has capitulated. Nice. Does leave the problem of everything else down there. But this guy is going the right way to get up to Bishkek. Okay, these two need to pick out these guys. Oh, that's a stupid way of getting there. Um, go around the back and then attack. You get across the river and then attack. Alright, other problem is extending this line the rest of the way. Alright, and making sure that these guys don't move anywhere. This one's going to be unfortunate. Alright, Tajikistan, China got that bit. Everything else worked out. Alright, and so there's nobody over here. Let's try and get through and take Alma'ata. Alma okay, looks good. So it's in uh, November that we go to war with Kuwait. In the meantime, tell me that you can defend long enough and well enough to get over to Bishkek. Nice. Alright, will they capitulate is the question. Come on, buddy. They're going to win that. Got Bishkek. Northern Pamir. Can't be the capital of China. Kyrgyzstan just doesn't understand. It's already been captured. Alright, he needs to make a run for Ashtana. They, pretty sure, won't capitulate. Let's grab these two guys. Let's try this again. Slow them down. As everybody here... Oh, this guy and this guy head in this way. These guys in. And we might be able to slip them down this way. Alright, that looks good. So, another quick check. Algeria is good. Libya is good. Morocco is good. Eastern Siberia is a whole. And Egypt's the bit the way of protecting. Alright, all looks good. 84 of them. Running a bit short on most of these. It's all the infantry equipment. Which is weird, because we should have finished enough of it. I guess it's going to the other guys, though. Alright. Doing good. Most of these. These guys are still trying to move forward. It's like, these guys run out of things to do. Head up randomly. These guys will try and break through. Might be doable. And down here, should be pushing in. Alright, do you have empty province? Nice. Um, not that way. Head up and over and try and get around him. Alright, these guys are complete failures. Do this without a river crossing. And these guys can go over this side. Gonna take Tanutuva. This guy will come in as well. They might as well stop. Okay. Now, five guys. Moving back and forward means they shouldn't have entrenchment. Nice. Alright, next one. These two can move in, finish off that other bit of the front that we uh, never moved towards. Okay, let's take a quick look. It should be near the top, right? Kazakhstan is fine, South Ossetia, Armenia, Abkhazia, Tajikistan's gone, Kyrgyzstan, 42. A bit more to do on them. Russia, nearly down to 90. I don't suppose 
China have any uh, strategic bombers that can get all the way over there. It'll be interesting. Okay. So what was the other one? Kyrgyzstan we need to look at. Kyrgyzstan was the one that's on 42. The other one was uh, Kazakhstan. Only got 1% of them. That's fair enough. We should be able to punch him back though. The only problem will be he's going to have other victory points. Even if he doesn't. It's only worth 5. It's not going to be enough. Big old Kazakhstan goes most of the way over to Volgograd. And yeah, now he's going to lose. Alright, well, you've been pushed back. I guess that means you should come down this way and try and take this one. Try and do things while we have a small chance. Alright, these guys head in there. I'm going to try and cut these guys off. So if we can manage that, do it like this. Alright, that'll be a victory. We need to get in so we get the uh, encirclement. Alright, Gen 4 Night Vision. What was the last thing we were doing there? Uh, we're going to go for the better torpedoes as well. Alright, you don't need to actually do that. Get across here and then do it. And they should be timed up well. Alright, CSGO's little holdout next to Uzbekistan. Which if we declared on them, we'd be right next to their capital. That would let us get well, not too much further. Alright, that's going to be a loss. Apparently they walked up and then came back again. That's not looking good. It's an organisational thing. Let's give them a thing to think about. Um, yeah, build it up. And we need to make sure everybody keeps moving on. So two of them with one of them, one of them head in. This guy can just come over this way. you're wandering off somewhere else. Well, if you're already part way there, let's try and get around and up to Ashtana. He has now been cut off. Yep, so he's going to finally die. We lost Bishkek. And we've lost the encirclement as well. Alright, go get this back. Get the supplies up. You son of a bitch. Alright, counterattack. Counterattack is counterattack. No, lost that. Gonna lose that side of the river soon. Need more guys to get through. Alright, how's China handling NATO? Not well. And we sent some guys down to help out with Nanjing, Shanghai. Where have they gone? Alright, they're on the way still. Alright, so we've got Nanjing with this guy. These guys are about to get into Shanghai. Then they're going to try and meet up there and take the rest of the coastline. Hopefully cut off his reinforcements. Although this whole thing down here will be a bit tricky. Alright, can we get Shanghai? I'd say no we can't. Alright, we'll just leave them to it. However far they get is a bit of a victory. Brings China back up to 69%. If this guy can run around... China will hopefully realise that he has a chance of doing it. Alright, about up here. Not much going on. Let's do another quick border check. Uh, horrendous supplies. No river crossing there. That's one big province. This is hopefully doable. Ditto here. Try and get across the river. Nope. Alright, give up on that one. Uh, 
That is a river crossing. Try this one. Looks better. All right, help out. And over here, head straight in. Looks good. These guys, somebody here should be doing this. Go up this way. And nobody is doing this one. So get across the river. I think that guy just arrived. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, river crossing. Uh, two, four onto this guy. An orange zone there. These guys should be able to handle that. This guy, it's possible. Tanatuva, we just took. Now that's a river crossing, so let's go this way instead. He will get out in three days. It's a bit long to wait. Alright. Every province here has somebody in it. So if we go two there, one there, one up. One left. Wait for this. So seven, eight, nine, nine, hundred. Oh, he goes up. These two need to help take that. All right. <clears throat> two moving up. Bunch of guys here. Let's go half there, half there. Four push into the victory point. These guys push up. This guy will do a river crossing. He can just sit there. Um, try this one. That's a river crossing as well. Let's get them around. It's not ours. This one is. He needs to head over. And we're going to fail taking this. We have to give it a go. River crossings from everywhere else. We have to take it while they've got low organization and low strength. It's a good combination. All right, so we lost Bishkek. But everything else looks promising. All right, Egypt's good. Algeria's good. Libya's good. Syria, no. Uh, Tunisia's fine. All right, we could free up some of these guys soon. Question is, would we be able to get access through the Caliphate? No, because base reluctance, which is annoying because we can't declare war on him either. All right. Let's actually take a look at the fleets. Um, China still haven't realized they need to move their fleets over this side. He has some in the Yellow Sea now. But he needs them down around Taiwan in the East China Sea as well. Oh. We still managed to get a couple of guys in. We're defending at the moment. Alright, nice counter-attack. Come back and forward a bit from Ningbo. Level 1 fort. There we go. Come on. It's got to have a lot of guys marching up there. Alright, well we got them. Now we can do counter-attack after counter-attack. Try and start taking these ports back. Shanghai. China has realised he can do. Nice. So these four guys aren't needed up here. Let's get them to come down, do a bit of cleanup. Mostly with victory points. All right, something like that, and then I guess try and head down that way. All right, this is where we start failing. I've actually lost a guy. He's getting on the boat. Yeah, idiot. Alright, stay in Ningbo. Has a fort and everything. You can actually have your own fallback line here. Attach that one. Alright, hold Ningbo. They're holding Shanghai. This guy's just trying to get home. And he'll be safe. Alright. Egypt and Tunisia. Let's go take another look at the line. Alright, I've taken that. Let's try and get up to Bishkek. 
Oh, and then coming around behind. Need reinforcements up here. Which I guess would be easiest if we were to conquer it. Send some there. Only need fast one going up. Need the artillery going in, I think. See if this guy can handle that by himself. Alright, is this because of... No, there's no particular reason, he's just... I don't know, Spetsnaz should be strong. He's entrenched, he should be able to hold the mountains against us. Alright, success there. Head up to Kyrgyzstan and try and get over to Bishkek. We'll stay a bit more cautious than last time though. Alright, rest of the line. Got these guys moving up. Fast guy going that way. Uh, let's use the tank here as well. And they all head in. This guy doesn't want to do a river crossing. Alright, got them. You should be able to get up. That is a river crossing, so we'll avoid it. Still a river crossing from that side. Alright, that's good. Get up and around. Perfect time for a counter-attack. Alright, another river crossing though. Let's uh, try and get over that side. Alright, looking very good here. Alright, I'll check out the rest of this line. One guy, well, all of them are moving across. This guy, another river crossing. That there though isn't. Combine it with this one. Guys moving up. Defending, attacking, not moving. Again, one big province. So this way is the best way to go. Take the tank on the river crossing. Good. Alright, not much going on over here. Send one. No. One over there. Two can attack from there. So we're going to need to get across this river. Alright, this guy is just on the coast, so he can't help. Damn. Oh, most of it will work. Yeah, it's going pretty well. We've taken most of the Chinese cores back. Let's grab this one. Move in and free reign. Uh, how far do we want to try and get him? Probably no further. All right, that was the production one. Now APC project research bonuses that we probably could have used before. Uh, whoops. All right, combat prep is useless. Land doctrine could be good. Kyrgyzstan's gone. Holy crap. Yeah, well, we finished the land doctrine anyway. So, let's go for... I don't know. Naval focus. No, we don't need it. Um, I don't know. Armor tech. Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan, Kyrgyzstan, Kyrgyzstan here. Yeah, we got the guys up to Bishkek. And because we captured that one as well, actually worked out. Alright, we need to make sure we take this. Let's get one guy coming down. The other guy coming this way. China's given a bit of it to us. And these guys need to go straight up. Alright, that should work. Ooh, research, alright. Looking good. Uh, armor. We use the bonus to get them. Um, there was something else we needed. To, oh crap, haven't been doing any of these for a long time. 2020, yeah, we're way behind time now. Uh, production efficiency cap and factory output. Yeah, we could have been using that all along. Alright, Tunisia and Algeria. Hey, ready to go with the Q8. Alright. Little Q80 city. Declare this war. Potential enemy Q8. Yep. It's a separate war, so we get everything we want from it. Because he's in the uh, Peninsula Shield Force. 
All right, there goes Q8. Wait for the end of the day. I actually have nowhere else to go now. Q8 has lost the war and surrendered. Yes, he has. Come on, face screen. Whenever you're ready, buddy. There we go. All right, Q8. Take all states. End turn. Done. Nice. So the Iraqi Caliphate. Is that what I was looking for? Uh, just fine. Yeah, we still can't actually go to war with them for no apparent reason. So what are we going to get our guys to do? We could now, I guess, get them over to China. Let's do it on a small scale first. Just not sure they'll actually make it with enemy fleets and whatnot. Can we put them here? We can. Alright, do their own little thing. Taking Haiku. And they're going to be aggressive. Alright, see how that goes. But I'm going to take a short break here. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I hope to see you again soon. See you later.